Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another segment of 5 minute fitness by Nylate powered by Muthoot Healthcare. In my last video we discussed why carbs are not our best friend. If you haven't watched it already, make sure you watch it after you watch this one. So today we're going to talk about fat. Not the fat we store in our body, but dietary fat. Yes, that is the next macronutrient we're going to discuss about. Fat is the most dense amongst all the macronutrients. The amount of energy given by each of the macronutrient varies. Fat gives us 9 calories per gram, which is almost more than twice as that of carbohydrates and proteins. But like I mentioned in my previous video, our body loves to use glucose for energy production. But why is that? Even when fat gives us twice the energy as glucose, mm. the reason is that the process of conversion of fat into energy is a very complicated and a very long process. So our body prefers to use glucose for energy production. To put it simply, fat primarily consists of carbon atoms and hydrogen atoms. It can be classified into two: saturated fat and unsaturated fats. Saturated fats are fully saturated with hydrogen atoms with its carbon atoms having single bonds because of which it can remain as solids in room temperature. Examples for saturated fat would be butter, cheese and ice cream. Saturated fat is said to be very bad for our health because of its association with increased LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol. A research study published in the Journal of Nutrition shows us the association of palm oil with increased LDL cholesterol. Unsaturated fat gets its name from it being unsaturated which means that its carbon atoms have double bonds which prevents complete hydrogen saturation. There are monosaturated fats with single double bonds and polysaturated fats with two or more double bonds. Now, unsaturated fat is associated with an increase in good cholesterol or HDL cholesterol. An article published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology says that polyunsaturated fats or high quality carbs can be used to replace saturated fats to reduce the risk of coronary heart disease. What people have noticed is that when unsaturated fat is taken in moderation in place of saturated fat there's a reduction in the risk of heart disease and an increase in good cholesterol or HDL cholesterol. So make sure you're getting enough of omega-3 fatty acid which is a polyunsaturated fatty acid known for its benefits of reducing heart disease. But not all unsaturated fats are good. Trans fat is an unsaturated fat which is bad for us because of its association with increased coronary heart disease. It's so bad that WHO started an action package aiming to eliminate trans fat from all kinds of food by the year 2023. An article published in the New England Journal of Medicine tells us that the daily intake of about 5 gram of trans fat is associated with a 25% increase in the risk of coronary heart disease. What is trans fat though? In those unsaturated fats we say are good, the hydrogen on the double bond is on the same side, making it cis fats. But when hydrogen comes on the opposite side of the double bond, it becomes trans fat, which is something we should avoid by all means. Next time you buy something, make sure you check the ingredients for partially hydrogenated fat, which is what they call trans fat, because trans fat is made by hydrogenating vegetable oils, turning them into solids to improve their shelf life. The resultant product remains solid at room temperature, and it's called partially hydrogenated. Oils. We can find trans fat in cakes, cookies, biscuits, microwave popcorn and in so much more. So in short, always keep an eye on this. Now, finally I just wanted to clarify that the fat stored in our body does not come from dietary fat. It comes from excess calories, be it excess protein, excess carbs or even excess fat. The most important thing we have to keep in mind is that are we burning more calories than we are consuming? So I hope you took something valuable from this video. Make sure you stay away from unhealthy saturated fats and definitely you should stay away from trans fat. If you wish to see more content like this, please do give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel because it will really help me help you better. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page, my Facebook page and my blog on fitness. This is Nitya, you've been signing off. Bye.